Beyonce has achieved more than her fair share of musical success, most recently becoming the Grammy winner with the most awards in history. Beyonce has achieved success in a number of fields besides music, though. The Texas native has dabbled in a number of fields throughout the years, including voice work and acting. She has also shown that she takes her career seriously by leading fashion lines like House of Duran, collaborating with Adidas on the well-received Ivy Park collection, and exercising creative control over her marketing and tour launches. To run my label and management company, to direct my films and produce my tours, that meant ownership, owning my masters, owning my art, owning my future, and writing my own story, the singer shared in YouTube's virtual commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. After the birth of Blue Ivy Carter in 2012, it became abundantly evident that Beyoncé intended to pave the way for her daughter to develop a business in the future. The singer of Love on Top applied to trademark Carter's distinctive name in 2012. With the possibility that Beyoncé's name could be used as a tremendous marketing weapon by any of her children, it makes reasonable that she would want to have final say over how to profit from it. Beyoncé had a difficult time obtaining the trademark for Carter, and the reason why is very intriguing. Soon after Blue Ivy Carter was born, Beyoncé and Jay-Z lost no time in submitting an application to trademark the name. The famous parents, however, encountered difficulties when Veronica Alexandra, the owner of Blue Ivy Events, objected to the stars holding the moniker Blue Ivy. Evidently, it would have overshadowed Alexandra's company, which she had founded in 2009, and would have even compelled her to change the name. After a judge decided in Alexandra's favor, enabling her to keep using her original name for her wedding business, Bay and Jay ultimately lost the first round. I knew this was going to be a bittersweet roller coaster, shared Alexandra with Rolling Stone. If this wasn't going to work, I'd go after both of them. Like, let's do it. In my mind, I had some protective rights. There's no way by way of being a celebrity they should have entitlement to the name. Shame on them. However, Beyonce and Jay-Z could use the name Blue Ivy for non-event related endeavors. Having said that, Alexandra hinted at being willing to sell the moniker to the power couple. I work hard to make my living and none of that is going to change, shared Alexandra with BBC. But if I was to strike some sort of ridiculous deal, then I think that would be a classic American story that would be worth projecting. Although it's obvious that Beyonce and Jay-Z have subsequently permitted Blue Ivy Carter to gradually break into the entertainment industry, efforts that have already earned her a Grammy Award, a 2013 interview Jay-Z gave implies that popularity for Blue Ivy wasn't always the plan. At least not when it came to their choice to register her name as a trademark. People wanted to make products based on our child's name, he shared with Vanity Fair. And you don't want anybody trying to benefit off your baby's name. It wasn't for us to do anything, as you see, we haven't done anything. Having said that, Bay and Jay eventually succeeded in their attempt to register Blue Ivy Carter's entire name as a trademark in 2019. Veronica Alexandra opposed their application a second time in 2020, claiming that it might cause confusion for her business. Nevertheless, the trademark trial and appeal board decided in the famous couple's favor in 2020. Thanks a lot for visiting today and be sure to smash that subscribe button in order to stay on top of American Celebrity Gist. Until next time, stay safe.